When it comes to the media industry, Shannon Sharp is someone who has really risen to the top. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Overall, he and Skip Bayless had a fantastic rapport on Undisputed, and he consistently produced some viral moments. But after their relationship fell apart, he moved on to ESPN, where he now collaborates with Stephen A. Smith. This has turned out to be an excellent collaboration, and Shannon is still doing well. He also has Club Shay Shay, which has conducted some really amusing interviews. Sharp has been experiencing waves of jealousy in recent weeks. People are upset with his success, which has given rise to some strange rumors. Many comedians have attempted to claim that Shannon identifies as gay. They keep making this claim even though there is no supporting data. Antonio Brown is one individual who has repeated this. It seems like the former wide receiver for the NFL has had enough of the memes about Shannon. Sharp blocked him on Twitter, as Antonio Brown disclosed. Lately, Brown has been rather critical on Twitter. In an attempt to promote his CTESPN venture, he has made a number of memes that are aimed at certain well-known sports stars. It's obvious that certain people, Shannon Sharp included, are irritated by it. After all, Antonio Brown was making a lot of offensive jokes that might be seen as harassment. Brown doesn't see it as a loss. In the past, Sharp has been critical of Antonio Brown and his career. Brown just sees Sharp as competition that he wants to eliminate as he attempts to carve out a career for himself in the media. Antonio Brown is not done voicing his opinions on X. He is now targeting LeBron James. Following reports that James was having a good time with Lakers owner Jeannie Buss, and longtime front office ex Linder Rambis, Brown tweeted a photo of James' face that had been altered to look like a threesome. But the picture put Brown in hot water right away. Not for its content, but rather because Brown appeared to have taken the picture and shared it again. An account by the name of at FSU Brando first tweeted the picture to Brown in reaction to his initial post about the incident. Then, without giving attribution, Brown used FSU Brando's photo in another post. Since then, there have been doubts about the number of Brown's CTESPN posts that were genuinely plagiarized from other users. Of course, Brown is being pursued for more reasons than just post stealing. When the contentious former NFL player shared AI artwork of Taylor Swift, Brown poked fun at the Swifties. In front of a throng of applauding Asian fans, Brown is seen kissing Swift while wearing his Steelers outfit. Moreover, Brown included his CTESPN brand and tagged Swift on the picture. Fans, however, quickly pointed out that Brown was probably going to experience a backlash from the fervent Swifty fanbase. Everywhere Antonio Brown travels, there's bound to be controversy. He's not nearly as controversial as he once was, but that's because he's no longer playing. Antonio Brown is primarily visible on social media, where he posts anything comes to mind. In general, he is a person who easily agitates others. Furthermore, there are some of his adversaries who aren't even at odds with him. These conflicts are actually one-sided. For example, Brown and Tom Brady have recently developed an odd rivalry. Brown has been making every effort to disparage Brady for the last year or two. Brown has been quite angry, whether it is by saying he slept with Jaisal Bunchen or by labeling him a lousy quarterback. Brady doesn't appear to be bitter at Antonio Brown, and the beginning of this whole situation is strange. In any case, Brown made the decision to tweet about Brady, Can I West, and cognitive deterioration today on social media. I'm not anti-Semitic I just fucked a Jewish bitch, Ab said while quoting Can I West song vultures. I'm anti-Semitic, I just fucked a Jewish bitch, I just He subsequently followed this up with a tweet where he said I just fucked Tompe. Finally, he ended the rant by saying I who I fucked last night I got Alzheimer's. I don't know who I fucked last night, I got Alzheimer's. Antonio Brown is obviously on one at the moment. This has now been confirmed innumerable times. But this time, it was particularly true. What Brown does next is still to be seen. He has shown to be a very erratic individual over the past few years. He has made an effort to resume his athletic career, but it hasn't worked out. It is highly improbable that those opportunities will reappear given his actions. Then it goes viral, mm -hmm. then everybody will start piggybacking. Shannon Sharp is making a lot of money off of his famous meme. More of you should go put on the green attire. Sharp informed Chad Johnson, because Total Wine just ordered 2,000 more cases. Sharp created a promotional video for his cognac brand, and his tight-fitting green suit and clumsy steps made him an internet sensation. Hey, I need somebody else to go in front of Total Wine and put on that green outfit. Sharp was made fun of by everyone, from Antonio Brown to Donald Rawlings. In spite of his accurate assessment, Rawlings still made the time to defend Sharp. Oh, y'all that did it? I need y'all, I need y'all some more people to go do it. Although it was humorous, Sharp probably still feels the effects of his lengthy NFL playing career, according to Rawlings. Over the course of his 13-year career, Sharp appeared in over 200 games and gained close to 11,000 receiving yards. Sharp, meanwhile, recently asserted that the money he earned from his interview with Cat Williams surpassed the whole amount he earned in a single NFL season. YouTube AdSense brought in at least $113,000 
$1,000 for the Club Shay Shay interview, and that's not counting extra exposure, sponsorships, and subsequent sales. In 2000, Sharp earned $5 million, the most he has ever made in an NFL season. Even with Sharp's Hall of Fame career, inflation and the fact that he was selected in the sixth round of the draft must be considered. It's hardly surprising that comedians have targeted Shannon Sharp ever since Cat Williams's widely shared Club Shay Shay interview. Griffin, for instance, mocked Sharp's podcast recently by referring to it as Club Gay Gay while performing. Sharp made care to bring up this point lately on Nightcap. People gonna let them say whatever. You know who you are. He claims that the reason people are talking about him is just that he's the hot thing at the moment. What they're doing now is that they found out that Shannon is the hot thing. He clarified that even though he knows who he is, he doesn't allow individuals who consistently use the same joke to affect him. They're using the same joke. He described. But at some point in time, it's going to get old and people going to get tired of y'all saying that Shannon's gay. And Shannon, this you're going to have to get back to telling jokes. Yeah, Shay Shay. Yeah. Gay gay. Sharp has been accused of being gay by comedians such as Mike Epps, and Griffin truly made the accusation. He even gave the show the name Club Gay Gay. Though it was a really cheesy joke overall, it did make some people laugh. <laughs> Shannon Sharp appears to be receiving more hate than ever before now that he is having success in the interview arena. That nigga sitting there with them tight ass pants on. Sharp had never had to deal with rumors like these before, but because his interviews are going viral practically every week, he is currently facing a barrage of charges. Since he is currently the most well-known figure in the media, it is obvious that some people wish to take him down from his pedestal. That appears not to be feasible at this time, at least not right now. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.